Alright folks, it's the Pitching Ace 88, and I'm going to be bringing you some Dreamcast games. The first one um, was voted on by you guys to be my first one, and that was Gauntlet Legends, as you will see in a little bit. There we go. This game was released 2000-2001, basically, right when the Dreamcast, uh, there, it's like two year period. Uh, it's based off of the 86, 87, 88 arcade gauntlet uh, 1, gauntlet 2. You guys may or may not have played that. I played it in the arcades, but I played it in uh, like a nickel nickel penny arcade place uh, rather recently. Uh, there's a couple things that I'm going to definitely do. Uh, the music volume, I'm going to make it really loud. And actually, the music volume, we just want it loud. SX loud. Difficulty, we're going to keep it on medium. We're not going to make it too difficult. Uh, everything else is going to be the same. Uh, I could have a rumble pack, but I'm not going to use one. Let's start on our quest. Enter initials to build a character. I just want to hear that guy's voice. His voice is amazing. Select a character. Okay, you can be a wizard, archer, dwarf, knight, sorceress, jester, warrior, valkyrie. Um, and when you hit level 25, I'll be showing you guys a cheat that allows you to get an extra four playable characters. Um, you can have them in any colors, and they all change slightly. Personally, if you guys have seen my other playthroughs or you have ever hear me talk, uh, especially other playthroughs, uh, I will say, Yellow Wizard has gained a level, and you will definitely hear this Welcome, happen. Yellow Wizard. And that's this is basically where I got it from. Um, you can kind of come around here. This guy right here, he'll give you any hints that you may or may not need. We don't need any hints. I know where everything is. I've played this game before. I am playing this game on the Dreamcast, as you guys have seen. However, I know. I will probably get questions about it. You are now in the entry the Valley of Fire. Now this is on an emulator, so I am attempting to, you know, play this at max speed. So we'll we'll see how it is. It, you may get uh, frame rate skippings at, at certain points, but let's go to buy power ups. Use key to open treasure and there's definitely a couple things that I'll be pointing out as I play through this game. Uh, I really, the, my main purpose of playing through this game uh, was to just improve the quality. Uh, my first playthrough of this was very, very rough. It was one of my first playthroughs that I ever did. Uh, in my opinion, it was one of my worst. However, the game is so awesome. Demon Skull, take all those guys out. But in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you will. I didn't get it wrong. Bottom corner uh, left of the screen, you'll see the wizard. Um, you'll also see that little green bar on the top. Once it fills and starts to glow uh, purple, you can. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can at least your special attack. Right now, I can do a rock shower because I'm halfway. If it just lights up just green, you can do like a special power attack. Really, it's really not worth it until you finally get to uh, where it glows purple. I will also say that uh, there's a place in the first world that will is a cheat that I kind of know of, or a glitch in the game where you can gain a level every single time you play through the level, and I'll be doing that off camera so I can super power my guy up. Um, you can th you can shoot through the wall here if you uh, glitch it right. There we go. Let's see. I'm trying to think of how it's somewhere in this corner here. Maybe because oh well, whatever. We'll, oh, you know, yeah, you know what you can do. You can do this. And get rid of them all. Not a big deal, but something that I used to do in the beginning to give myself a couple levels in the beginning. You can just, you know, if you have a 
turbo on or whatever, you can just keep using it over and over again. I should wait to get the food, that's okay. There's a couple of uh, gates here that you really don't need any help in. You don't need to waste a key. Every time you gain a level, you gain 100 extra health. So as you can see now, my health is at 1100. You need to find three runes in each of the four worlds. There's about, I think, five or six different places every single time you go there. Here's some of these power-ups. I'll show you how I level up my character, because I tend to know how I like to get my guy up. However, um, everyone can play it slightly differently. This is just a game that I just have always enjoyed playing. It's best played with more people, however. In order for me to get this great quality, I can't use this. There we go. There we go. Food. Yep. But you can use Turbo F Phoenix. Phoenix Familiar. Those are awesome. So there is the first world done. So it calculates it all out. With your with your gold you can buy stuff. I never buy any of this stuff. I basically just wait for strength, speed, increases, and I accidentally just bought a key. I apologize. Another bonus to playing this game and uploading it on this new channel is that it allows for dagger <laughs> peak. Gotta love it. Um, it doesn't allow for as much flexibility. But you'll definitely see some like slight glitches like that, such as stuttering. Frames being lost slightly, however, the quality on this should be impeccable compared to the other one. Yellow wizard has gained the level. Sweet. Gotta love it. Okay, don't want to go up there. I want to take the long way around. Got them out of the way. Ooh. Sometimes, yeah, you can. You can basically continue to get these guys. There's going to be a. Let's see if I can get him through the screen. It looks like actually in the emulator, it looks like they actually fixed the glitches where you can actually shoot through the walls. It's actually quite funny. So you can basically just keep shooting at these guys, however I am waiting for my power up to... Wait for it, and... Okay, get this guy out of the way first, it'll be a pain. Now you can kind of stay away from them and, and hit them and it will it will get them eventually or you can just kind of run and attack them. I like to just kind of chill. There's going to be a poison up here in one of these barrels, that one. So you're going to want to avoid that. This one is growth. Growth is awesome because you can basically just like take these guys out with a couple hits. Okay, now this guy gives quite a bit of health. However, be careful when you are around him. Try and hit him with your thing. 
wait for him, and then use magic. Make sure you always have at least one potion before you do that, or else it could be problematic. Wow, that guy has a lot of range. If I do this, I can get two for one. Open up that place on the side. And we want to come back here. Take it out. There we go. So yeah, there are definitely certain places that I will be going to uh, stack myself for the rest of the game, make this game a lot more fun. Uh, this isn't going to be like, you know, me playing like the hardest or whatever. I'm basically going to max my character up. This is X-ray glasses. This can show you guys a little bit. Um, you could have been able to look through that wall if you weren't have if you didn't have to, but you can also look through chests. Like if you want to use a key, however, I have quite a bit of keys, so I'll definitely be using them. There's the running at him, and I just want to run at him because I have an arrow guy. There we go. This one, it's it's changing. It really does not matter. Uh, it only matters the kind of effects that the magic gives. Let's try and save one of your specials for something that's upcoming. And that would be the this uh, the rock monster thing. Because if you can just do that and then just keep attacking him, you should be able to take him out pretty easily. Like so. Let's get big. As you can see, I have actually too many keys right now. Yeah, that's actually pretty easy to check out. But there's an obelisk behind here. You have to find all the obelisks before you move on to the next world. There's fire around here. Yep, almost got it. Oh, it almost hit me. Okay, so down there is where we came from. Should we get one more guy here? Nope. Okay, might as well grab some more gold. Gold, gold kills, experience, level four. Okay, the thing I like to get the quickest is speed, for the main reason that it allows you to shoot faster, and as a wizard, you know, going attacking people from afar. It is a uh, fairly you are important. Now entering the cliffs of desolation. Okay, cliffs of desolation are not fun at all. Uh, poison. Let's not get that. Health. Let's get that. I hate these stupid little scorpions. They don't really do too much damage to you. Now you can go up, but I always like to go down because there's a reason. Oh, nice. I'm hoping to get them away from me, yeah. So as you fall down, there's gonna be archers on your left and your right. Just fire them from afar. Get them. Got them. So what this will do, this will get you to the rune, also giving you health. The meat give you 100, the apples give you 50, I do believe, if I remember correctly. And unlike the arcade game, you do not lose health uh, every second. Food is good. Oh shoot, I'm dead. Yep, thought so. This should be a magic guy, yep. So if you wait for him, you can actually get him here and then kill everything. Alright, so we want to go back up there, but first let's grab our... Stone. 
Oh yes. Limited invulnerability. Limited invulnerability. So this is something where you just kind of run around, You're able to just take out all the enemies. It's this one and the invincibility that are pretty cool. A lot of times when that happens, I do like to take. Let's get the rune stone. Come over here. Traps make some objects move. Yep. That place was there, it fell down. That poison was stupid. Health. Um, yeah, there's one level in particular that will not only give you a ton of uh, level up, it'll also basically, if you play it right and you've played it as much as me, it basically gives you full health as well as getting a bunch of gold. So if you wait, or if you come in here, come on, get out of my rock shower. You should get everything. Yep. Grab it. And because those guys are going to be a pain. I'm get these other guys first. There's a key in case you didn't need, you didn't have one, so you can get it right here. Let's use rock shower, take most of them out. Fifteen hundred. That's what I'm talking about. And I get hit. Oh well. Everything will do less damage to you once you increase your armor. However, the armor is not the first thing I ever go for. I always go for speed. Because it actually does almost more damage than the strength does. Yeah, those hurt. There should be something here. Oh, I thought that was the invincibility thing. Gain the level. Now, if you see there's a little discoloration in the wall, you can do that. That will open up something on the left here. Well, it'll open, it'll open that thing, so... You just keep attacking these things. If you do play it your cards right, you can kind of take everyone out. I go up first. Yeah, I think you gotta go. Well, you don't have to go up first. I just like to kill every enemy here. Yep, magic, thought so. Sometimes I like to take out the enemies from right here. You can basically just do an infinite stream right here. Uh, but, you know, you'd have to leave and come back. There's definitely better ways to get more experience points. And if you heard, there was the, the bomb guy, so make sure that you try and get him. It actually worked out very well. Took out some of the scorpions. Level design is this. It's pretty cool, too played it for a while. There we go, got him. Considering this game was released in the 2000s. That'll lower this. Ooh, then you got something pretty cool. This is invisibility. So what I like to do with this is I, is I really like to take away all of the main places when you have invisibility because what happens with that is that no one can see you. Ouch, that hurt. So they won't attack you, basically. Okay, this place gets knocked down. For it, wait for it, kill it. 
Now I'm alive. So, let's take them all out. Now, ooh. Magic, as well as... Okay, all those guys are gone. And see, I took out most of their places. Fire amulet. Fire amulet. Health. Food is good. Alright, well I will see you guys back here. This has been pitching ace the pitching ace eighty eight over and out.